Hey, good morning, Pirates. It's Friday, week five, um, before a three-day weekend. We are going to look at our assignment for today. If you would click on Home and go to Agenda, it's called Data Tables and Graphs Practice for Single Line Graphs. And if you open that assignment, it takes you to an assignment where it asks you to open the simulator once again called Push It, which would look like this. And then you're going to create graphs on paper and then take pictures to submit them. Um, you'll use Push It to complete the data tables. So when you scroll down here at the bottom, uh, it opens a Google Cloud assignment. Be sure to hit the blue link and open that uh, so it's full screen. Here you have the directions again, the link to the simulator, um, a scoring guide for graphs when you're graphing using the scientific method as a part of a study. Um, we have title axis scale plot. Our title is the effect of the independent variable on the dependent variable. So for down here, the effect of mass on velocity. There's my title. So you are going to use the simulator to complete the data table. So here's a sample that I have already completed for you. But to do that, basically I have mass of 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. This first one is just like our previous study. I want to make sure my friction is constant at 0 and my applied force is constant at 10 newtons. I'm going to run it. Then I'm going to click on the last dot to determine the velocity, 50 meters per second. So mass of 1, velocity of 50 meters per second. Mass of 1, velocity of 50. Go back to the simulator. I change my mass to 2. I run it. Again, keeping these two constant. My new velocity is 25 meters per second. So I plug that in, 25 meters per second. Once I have this data set, the assignment is to graph that data. And then put a picture of your graph right here. So to graph this data, I'm going to do this under my document camera here next to me. I need title axis scale plot. I'll put over there on the side to remind me my title, the effect of mass on velocity. Set up an X and Y axis. And start at zero. And my X axis is mass in kilograms. So I have my variable with the units. Then my Y axis is velocity meters per second are the units. As you can see over here, my masses go up to five, so I want to set this up, space out five, one, two. Then my velocities go from zero to 50, so I'm going to again space out five, but I'm going to count by tens. Now I just plot this as if this was an X, Y coordinate data set in an algebra class at one kilogram. I'm going to go to 50 meters per second. Put a dot. At two kilograms, I go to 25 meters per second, which is right between 30 and 20. At three kilograms, it's 16.7. At 4, we're going to 12.5. And at 5, we're at 10. Then I connect my dots. And I have a line graph of this data. Um, you can see that this graph clearly indicates that as the mass is increased, 
the velocity decreases, it slows down. So the next thing I need to do is insert a picture of this graph right here. And so to do that, I'm going to use my photo booth, which is down below. Click on that, pulls up my camera. I take the picture. <clears throat> and then I go back to my assignment make sure I figure out where I want to put it. I'm going to put it right here next to this picture that's already here. Insert image uploaded from computer. I'm going to go to the bottom here where it says photos and it pulls up your photo booth or click on it if it's not pulled up. Find the image you just took. Insert that one by clicking on open and then size it. I want to look at it make sure that in the picture you can read the title, the axis labels with units, the scales, and then clearly see the line. Um, if not, work on making it darker, bigger, more clear in some way. Once you've done that, you're going to move down here, repeat the process, only we're going to use the simulator to um, change force. We'll keep mass constant and you might Jot down what your mass and friction are, and then measure the velocities. Once you have your data table, repeat the process we used above to make a new graph. Insert that picture right below this. Repeat it for table three. Hope you have a good weekend. Don't forget to hit submit when you are completely finished. Go back to the assignment again in Canvas. Open it. Hit the blue submit button. See you next week.